Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you or we'll be discussing with you Clyde Apps tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So we all know searching for the right application or apps for yourself or for your team or for your business can be something really hard, especially if you're looking for very specific features or actions that you want it to be performed or to do. Now, in this case, Glide Apps here actually helps you build your own application that your team or yourself would really, really like because you are the actual, uh, the actual developer of that specific application. Now, in this case, Glide actually helps you on creating those applications. Now, how do we actually start using the platform? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So you, so you could actually basically start using Glide apps here for free. So go to their website, which is going to be glideapps.com. And from their website, what we need to do is we just need to click on the start for free button here. And it should open up a new tab. Now in the new tab, what we need to do next is we just need to answer a few things to set up our account as well as set up our profile. Now in this case, you can manually enter your email address here and just click on sign up with email. Or if you already have an existing Google account, you could choose sign up with Google here and choose your corresponding email. Now in this case, once you've done that, we just need to allow the, the access for Glide here. Just click on allow. Now on the next page, it's going to welcome you into Glide. Now in this case, it's going to first ask what is your name and what are you building the application for? Now in this case, I've already entered my name here. And from here, maybe I want to say myself. And from here, it's going to say, tell us more about yourself. So I run a business, work for a company. I'm a freelancer, contractor. I'm a student or a teacher. So maybe I want to say I'm a freelancer or a contractor here. Then just click on continue. Now, in this case, it's going to ask you, what's your company like? So in this case, how many people work at your company? So I'm going to answer just me. And from here, what's your role? So maybe I want to say I'm under IT and just click on continue. Now from here, it's almost going to complete our profile. So just need to enter the team name here. And how did you hear the first or about Gly here? So maybe I want to say I heard this from YouTube and from here, I want to say I want to uh, maybe I want to agree to terms and privacy policy here. So just a side note with any applications or any platforms that you're signing up, make sure that you read through to theirs uh, terms and privacy policy here, because in this case, if you read through their terms and privacy policy, you'll be able to know what is allowed and not allowed within the platform so that you'll be able to protect yourself and your account here. So let's go ahead and click on Let's Clyde. Now, once we click on that, it's going to open up the main UI for Glide apps. Now, in this case, we have the create a new apps here or start with data. So first thing that we need to do here is just click on X here and first familiarize yourself with the UI for Glide apps. So at the left side here, uh, you should be directed to the app section, which in this case, you'll be able to see all the apps that is under in your account. Now, also, you have the team here, which is the team name that I set up. I'm currently on the free plan. If you click on the uh, drop down button here, you could create your own team if you want to or choose a, uh, a team here that you want to uh, basically manage it. In this case, if you click on the uh, tree dot icon here, you could reposition you your uh, arrangement here if you want to as well. Now, at the left side here, at the bottom, you have your members. So, for example, if you want to add members to your team here, you just need to enter their email address here and just click on send invite. And they just need to uh, basically accept the invite for them to join your team here at Glide Apps. Now, you also have the usage here. So, the usage of your account or team here. We also have the billing. So, if you're using or if you have a upgraded plan, or if you want to manage your plans here, like for example, you want to upgrade your plan to another one because they have the maker plan, team plan here, as well as the business plan. So depending on what uh, plan you're going to get here, you'll be able to get those uh, very specific upgrade features, like for example, unlimited personal data, uh, personal users, Google Sheets and data sources, and custom branding, if you uh, choose those plan here. Now, also, we have the templates here if you want to start from a template on a specific application and also your settings here, which in this case, you'll be able to change the team logo, primary color, uh, primary color, as well as the uh, preview features, danger zones, and a lot more. 
Now, in this case, maybe you want to start creating your team or sorry, your app. So just go to the app section here, click on new app. And from here, we'll be able to basically start creating our app. So maybe we want to uh, create a very simple app here. So let's just choose the basic app here. Or if you want to start with data here, you could choose Google Sheets, Airtable, Excel Online, Glide Big Tables, Boss, uh, Postgres SQL, MySQL, Cloud SQL, and a lot more. But for now, let's just choose basic app here. Click on Create App. And it's going to start creating our app. So let's just wait for it to finish. Now, once our app has been created, you should be able to see this UI here. So in this case, there are going to be three sections that you could generally view here on your app section. So at the very section, we have our data, which in this case serves as kind of our database here, which in this case is where our data is going to be pulled from on our layout here later on, uh, which I'll be showing you later on. Now we also have the actions here. So in this case, you'll be able to basically supercharge your app with actions. So basically, if you want to perform certain tasks here, you could do that. So for example, we want to create a new action here. And from here, as you can see, user interaction with items. So you could add a specific section here. So maybe I want to add a new conditions here. So maybe the name. So maybe my the name or the name of the product itself uh, later on is not empty as well as uh, we if you want to add another condition as well you could go ahead and do that so for now let's just uh, uh choose that one and from here you see the open link here which in this case open links or your image url here so yeah so if you want to add other actions here you go and click on the plus button here and you'll be able to add your own other actions here as well now in this case there are a lot of things that you could do here so maybe i want to go back in here so for example, if you want to add an AI here, so you could go ahead and click on the plus button here. We have the AI. So you have the generated text, text to Boolean, text to choice, text to date, text to JSON, text to number, and a lot more. We have communication as well. So if you want to send emails, compose email or compose SML, SMS, if you want to, we also have the interactions here like play sound, show notification, wait, scan uh, barcode. You also have the data here, navigations and integrations here. If you want to integrate other applications like Discord, Google Cloud, Gmail, Giphy, GitHub, and a lot more. Now we also have the layout section here, which in this case, you'll be able to basically see how your uh, application would actually look like. Now, in this case, uh, this is going to be the first navigation item that's going to be the item section. Now, since we are in the item section, whenever you click on an item here, it should actually open up that specific item uh, description, name, and a lot more. Now, if you're wondering what are the navigations, so at the left section here, you have your navigation. So currently we only have two, which is items and categories. We also have the menu here, so which includes user profile as well as collection items here. So at the top left here, you have our top, uh, the, uh, Drawer here, which in this case includes your name as well as well as your email address, as well as your view profile or sign out section as well. So the good thing about here for in Glide apps, it helps you build applications pretty fast without any coding. So you just need to basically assign data, input data, and assign actions into the applications before you could actually uh, start using them. Now in this case, at the left section here, we also have categories. So if you see at the bottom section of our screen here, we have items and categories. So if you want to add a new navigation section, just click on the plus button here and you have the following options here. So maybe I want to add a dashboard here, just choose dashboard. And from here, as you can see, dashboard has now been included. Now, in this case, whenever you click on the dashboard section, you have the components. Now, depending on what you actually enter here, like for example, we have the big numbers here. So if you click on this one, you'll be able to see the options that you could change here at the right section. So the right section here includes the settings options that you could change for that specific element or component. So we have the items here, which include CSS class, name, value, description, and a lot more. Now, if you want to add a new component, you could go and click on the plus button here and you could add whatever component that you want to maybe add into your application. So we have chat, comment, custom, location, image, if you want to add that. So maybe I want to add a new image here. As you can see at the very bottom, we were able to add this one. 
So let's just choose this one and maybe we want to click on it. So once we've chosen that, we could go ahead and choose an image here. So maybe we want to upload an image here. And from here, just click on this one and choose an appropriate image. So maybe I want to choose this uh, image here. Just click on open. And from here, let's just wait for it to load up. But once it loads up, you should be able to see the image now uploaded and to that specific application or in your application. So if you want to change the design, style, aspect ratio, sign, uh, size, and alignment, you can go ahead and choose that. So maybe I want to say this is going to be a something circular to make it really fun. And from here, you can go ahead and just uh, edit whatever you want here. Now, in this case, if you want to change your view here, just click on the uh, other view, desktop preview here, or the mobile preview here. Now, in this case, those are the basics on how to use uh, Glide apps here. Left section includes the navigation and the layers or components within those uh, navigation. The right side here includes the settings or customizations like you do for components or for the dashboard or the navigation itself. Now, in this case, if you want to edit your data, go and click on data here. You can add a new row, import it, export, show API, and a lot more. But if you want to add a new data, just click on a new, new row, and you should be able to add that. Now, in this case, that is the basics, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.